earth's land masses have been constantly shifting for billions of years due to plate tectonics in the beginning there were no continents just a molten planet covered in lava over time land started forming merging into supercontinents like rodinia pangaea and gondwana only to break apart again this is the earth as we know it today but have the earth continents remained like this ever no they have not the cycle of continents coming together and drifting apart has shaped earth's history creating mountains oceans and even influencing the evolution of life today continents are still moving and in millions of years a new supercontinent might form once again let's understand this very interesting process earth's land masses have been constantly moving merging and breaking apart for billions of years due to the plate tectonics let's take a journey through 4.5 billion years of earth's shifting continents this was the hadean earth about 4.5 billion years ago to 4 billion years ago a hellish beginning there were no continents yet the earth was just a molten ball of lava constantly bombarded by asteroids water started appearing from volcanic activity and icy comets the first crust formed but it was thin and unstable first continents appeared around 4 billion years to 2.5 billion years ago these were small beginnings the first tiny islands and land masses formed made of light rocks that slowly rose above the ocean these early land pieces were called cratons ancient stable chunks of crust over time cratons merged into larger land masses forming the first continents as you can see in front of you finally around 1.1 billion years to 750 million years ago the first supercontinent called rodinia was formed all the land masses came together to form rodinia the first known supercontinent it stretched across the equator and had a harsh desert like climate eventually rodinia broke apart due to volcanic rifts in the crust you can see rodinia as it was about 90 crore years ago later another supercontinent which was smaller than rodinia called pangaea formed this was around 600 million to 540 million years ago a kind of short lived reunion after rodinia split some of its pieces briefly reassembled into another supercontinent pangaea it did not last long within 6 crore years it broke apart again into smaller continents these smaller continents were gondwana and laurasia from 500 million years ago to 300 million years ago this was a split world the continent split into two huge land masses first was gondwana which consists of today south america africa antarctica australia and india and the second was laurasia which consisted of today's north america europe and asia these two continents drifted apart with oceans forming between them this is how laurasia and gondwana looked finally they both came together to form the ultimate supercontinent called pangaea this happened 300 million to 200 million years ago around 300 million years ago that is 30 crore years ago all the land masses joined again to form pangaea meaning all earth this was one giant land mass surrounded by a super ocean called panthalassa dinosaurs appeared and thrived on this single land mass as you can see in front of you but 200 million years ago pangaea started breaking up again it started to crack apart due to tectonic forces it again split into laurasia which was today's north america europe and asia and gondwana which consisted of today south america africa india australia and antarctica the atlantic ocean started forming as continents drifted away the modern continents finally began to take shape around 10 crore years ago gondwana broke apart into the continents we recognize today india drifted north and collided with asia forming the himalayas 
the continents continued moving into their modern positions though they are still shifting what is the future scientists think that a new supercontinent will form in the future the continents are still moving scientists predict that in the next 25 crore years later they might merge again into a new supercontinent called pangaea proxima or amasia pangaea proxima could form as continents drift together the atlantic ocean may close and a new massive landmass could appear earth's landmasses are never still they have been moving merging and separating for billions of years the continents we see today are just a snapshot in time and in the distant future they will look completely different from now thank you so much for listening